All right, Tacky Cult Tribe, Rick Hogg with Warhawk Tactical out here at TRC, the range complex, home of the next games in September. So for this range workout, we're actually gonna go live fire. So what we're looking to do is we're gonna be looking just to work running with one thing in our hand versus doing a, a standard farmer's carry of two. So what I have is I've got my sandbag and then I've got my kettlebell and I've got my bench down there to uh, where I'll put my stopwatch and my, um, my notebook. So what I've done is I've already worked out. So I've got my notebook. You can see there's my workout for today. Everything's laid out so it's easy for me when I'm out here just to annotate my times. Um, so what I'm looking to do is I will go back there, start my stopwatch. I've also got my pro timer to record my shots. Start the stopwatch, grab the bag, run up, drop the bag, fire one-handed. When I'm using my right hand, left-handed when I'm using my left hand. Um, so again, it's just working in different dynamics because we've seen both strong and support hand shooting in the games. So this is something I wanna focus on. I've been doing some training uh, at the house, just working some dry fire stuff. So now we're just gonna bring it over into some live. A couple things to think about when you're shooting one-handed. If you look at how your hand naturally goes out, it naturally has a cant. That's the way I prefer to shoot my handgun. Some people will sit there and go straight out. Some people actually bring their elbow down. So there's a couple different variants. You need to find out what's gonna work for you. So what'll end up happening is I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna start with the, the sandbags. I'll also be wearing my gloves. Um, you'll go back, start the stopwatch, grab your bag, run up. Once you do, drop the bag. At the same time, I'm gonna hit my pro timer because I wanna get my times, my shot times on that. I've got one or two choices. I can just let this thing run the entire iteration. Once I get done, I can pull all my shot data off. Or if you want, take a break, record the time for that leg. And your shots, reset, run left. So there's a couple of different variables you can do. And I'm gonna put some of this on depending what your fitness level is. So for this day, I opted not to work my best because again, I want guys to understand for those of you that are new, um, break it in slow. Don't slap all your kit on there and then go all crazy, right? Start that building block process to get yourself to where you need to be. From here, I'm gonna transition over to uh, the shoot house where I know there's some pull-up bars. I'm gonna do four iterations, as many as I can. Simultaneously, I'm gonna practice drawing from either the right or doing my pistol transitions. That'll be just dry. And then what I'm gonna finish up with is a two mile run, except the difference being is a lot of guys are having problem trying to run with you know weight or a rifle. So what we're gonna do is we'll do a separate episode to talk about some rifle uh, dynamics when you're running, but I'm just gonna use this pipe and I'll talk about how I'm gonna use this pipe to simulate my rifle. And I wanna run with it in my hands just to change things up and see how that works for me. So I'm gonna go down here, get the uh, my notebook stopwatch, everything all set. We'll run the iterations and then it'll kind of give you guys a better view. So just stand by. <clears throat> so one thing guys I wanna cover real quick is again, just how I do my administrative load before I do anything. I'm in my good stance. I'm going to sit there, draw my pistol out, align my sights, make sure my sights are good. If I've got an optic, I turn it on. I lock my slide to the rear, get my magazine out. Gives me a chance to do one more reload. Do my war hog check. Yep, there's a round in the chamber. I know I'm hot. I'm good to go. I holster. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my second mag up in my pouch where I need it. So I'm standing by. I hit the timer grab my bag, run up, stop, hit my pro timer, draw my pistol, step forward. Holster, grab my bag, come back, swap sides. This I just opted to let my timer run. I'm swapping over. stop my time so I know that I'm already all loaded up for my second iteration I would take my time off the timer my stopwatch time annotate it if I was doing the full one now we're just gonna do the kettlebell so again I'm set timers good 
started, run up, set my kettlebell down, draw my pistol, notice my foot forward. my time <clears throat> so again just a quick demo on how we're looking to do the live fire portion for today hopefully you guys got some uh, some tips a little better graphic representation and if you guys got any more questions check out the YouTube channel warhog.com uh, obviously Instagram shoot me a DM we'll go from there all right guys Ricardo Warhog tactical take care Train hard and we'll see you on the range.